What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel and I haven't been doing much fishing lately because it's about 35 degrees outside today and not open water but not safe ice fishing conditions so it's kind of in the middle of that no man's land where you can't shore fish, you can't kayak fish, you can't do much anything unless you find a river that holds fish which around me this time of year not so much but I did just get sent from mystery tackle box their ice fishing box and this is the regular this isn't the pro this isn't the you know the whatever it is called the best one this is just the regular basic ice fishing box never got one of these before but i don't have a ton of ice fishing gear this is pretty much my box of jigs and you know spoons that i use for ice fishing but Always want to expand my arsenal and try some new stuff, so I thought I would switch this month to the ice fishing box, and let's take a look and see what we got. Alright, let's find... We got the dibble. This goes in the trash, as it usually does. Sorry, mystery tackle box. So we have the... What's inside? We have Northland Tackle Glow Shot Jig. Alright. see that there we go that is a glow jig let's take a look at what this thing says explode exposed light stick lightweight alloy body tip with live bait or impulse soft plastic okay so this looks like it actually comes with yeah it comes with three light sticks okay that's different i'm gonna open one of these just so we can see what it looks like bear with me here all right so this is a, i mean this is pretty big this is probably to say feels like a, yeah quarter ounce this is a quarter ounce jig that's that's big like unfortunately we don't have many walleyes around here but this would be something that would be really awesome for walleyes or bass i mean i guess you could catch bass on it but like i want to take a look at these glow sticks this is weird i've never seen anything like this before have you guys let me know all right so here we go this is a glow stick apparently and it snaps right into well, let me just put this stuff away before i lose it because i will then I'll go to use this and I'll have no light. Okay. That thing, those things are tiny. You're going to lose them. So be careful with them. So it has a glow stick that I'm guessing snaps right in the back of this. Ow. It does. Okay. I'm not sure how to actually make it glow. I'm going to have to read the, the instructions, but it has a little slot in the back there where you can stick the glow stick and then it comes with this little tool that helps oh as i drop the other jig as this little i'm dropping everything today this video sucks okay bear with me this little thing that apparently is going to help you get yeah see if i just slide it through here yep the light stick pops out i this seems kind of tacky guys what do you think of this i think it's kind of lame why would you use that? I mean, glow-in-the-dark jigs, yeah, they're great, but like a light stick? I don't know. I could be wrong. Seems a little tacky to me. Let's take a look at the next thing we have here. Vexen Crystal Reaper. Okay. Here we go. This is a MTV exclusive. The Vexen Crystal Reaper. That is cool. Little... There we go, you can see that there. It's a little jigging spoon with a treble hook on the bottom and a regular hook on the top. Let me open this bad boy up. All right, there we go, that's easier to see. This is cool, I like this, I like it a lot. You could fish it vertically. You could, you could probably cast this out in open water, I probably wouldn't, but you could. I might replace this with a regular single hook because I fish a lot of times in New Hampshire and New Hampshire does not allow you to tip treble hooks with live bait. So if I'm using a wax worm or something, you cannot put bait on a treble hook in New Hampshire. A lot of people don't know that, but you need to in case a game warden pops by and you're doing something you shouldn't, you don't want to get in trouble. You know, most fishermen follow the rules, like to follow the rules. so. That's one that I wasn't really aware of in the past, but I haven't really done much ice fishing in the past in New Hampshire, so it hasn't been a problem, but 
whenever I'm fishing new waters in new states, I always like to read up on their laws and become familiar with them because that is legal in Massachusetts. It's not legal in, in New Hampshire. So the more you know, right? Next, we have Blitz Lures Blitz Blade. Okay. Here it is. This is also very heavy. Alloy Zinc. Blade bait. I'm not going to open that. Pretty straightforward. You guys have seen blade baits if you've gone ice fishing before. A little big for my area. Again, I like to fish a lot, fish a lot of panfish and perch, crappie. That might be a little big, but I'll definitely give it a shot. Next, we have Widowmaker Lures Tungsten Metallic Dropper. Okay. All right. Here we go. What is up with this lighting today? Two little pink tungsten jigs. They are one well, size 14. I'm guessing they're maybe 164th, maybe a little heavier, but I will use those. Can never have too many tungsten jigs, so I like that. We have the Widowmaker. Oh, sorry, I just did that. The K and E Stopper Lures Whipper Snaps. That's the last one in here, and. That is a little jig with some little chartreuse soft plastics there. And okay, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna go on a rant right here. Why do companies sell you jigs and send you jigs when the eye hole is completely painted over? Come on! There's nothing more frustrating than like being in the middle of your kayak or being ice fishing and going to change a jig and you go to tie on something new and you gotta freaking take out your knife or take a hook and stab the eye hole with it. Like, what are we doing? Like, that seems like it's something very easy to do. Just make sure the hole's not painted through. That drives me absolutely nuts. You guys have probably been there. I'm not the only one, right? Let me know. But yeah, that's it. Sorry, I'm getting all fired up over here. And we got the Catch Go sticker, which I will put, oh, oh, right back there with my other ones there. So yeah, this is a good box. I, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I'll use here. These little jigs, I will 100% use those. This blade bait, not sure if I'm gonna use it. Might be a little big, might be a little heavy for I am. This is gonna be the first thing I try. This thing is awesome. I will definitely be using this. Probably, hopefully next week. Maybe I'll get you guys a video if I can actually find some safe ice. It's been really hard to come by around here. I know a few people that have been able to go out, but most people have not been able to do any ice fishing around here. Unless you go to the western part of the state. I'm in Massachusetts. If you go out west in the elevation where the mountains, you're going to find some safe water. But around where I live, there's not much going on at all. So I just got to be patient, I guess. Last year, we had zero ice fishing season. So I'm hoping we don't get a repeat of that. But let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hit me up in the comments. I'll talk to you soon.